<laughs> you were live for a couple seconds. We'll let you count it down. Anyhow, it's Friday Night Flies, your host with the most. Skyler. Skyler. Take yep. it away. All right, take it away. This is our fly. Let's get to it. Um, it's Friday Night Flies. I'm Boulder. It's Friday 13th. Woo-ha! And uh, yeah, we're tying up still water patterns. And uh, this is still water pattern number two. It's another uh, chromie. Uh, it's another chromie. <laughs> Um, yeah, like I said, we're doing a whole bunch of them tonight. So this is number two. This is the RF. So it is a one tied with red flash blue for the body. Whereas the last one we did was blue. And again, these are my top five Karate Mint picks for 2015. The start of 2015. <laughs> we'll go ahead. So here, let's go down. Oh, it's whole... 2015. So these are my picks for the year. This is what you got to have in your box this summer. Okay, let's go down. We'll show yeah. you what it is. Take you down and there it uh, is. we'll let you know why. So, uh, if you watch the other one, this is almost identical. Well, and if for, they didn't see the other one, if they didn't, they... you should go and see it, and then you have two. So basically, so. these are the two color variations that are Friday really. Night Flies. You got to tell them where to find it. Oh yeah, go to FridayNightFlies.com. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, or actually, after this video, after after you've watched, yes, uh, Friday Night Tom. FridayNightFlies.com or check it out on Facebook. All of our videos are also posted on there as pretty much every video in the world is. But to streamline it, go to Friday, FridayNightFlies.com. Check it out. Check now. it out. I am under the name Scott the Boltz. That's right. The, man, um, the one, the only. The one, the only. So this is uh, my fly for today. Uh, the difference between this one and the BFF is that we've put on a shell back with Peacock Curl. Which we know Brad Knowles is a fan of Peacock Curl, so we I, made this one especially for him. I can make well Ben and myself are both Peacock. Yeah, you guys are curl fanatics. fanatics. Well, hey, you could make a complete fly out of pe nothing but Peacock Curl. I'm telling you. And oh you yeah. Catch fish like oh, that. you can do this little Peacock Curl going up, silver wire. Yeah. And then, uh, and then just tie it off with a bead. But Scotty here is all about one up and everybody. So. Well, and look at that fly. Does that not one up? I Peacock could Curl? sit here and just show you Christmas or <laughs> ice cream cone after ice cream cone. <laughs> yeah. Or I can show you, you know, like a variation. Once, once you've learned how to do the ice cream cone, which is your basic karate mid, um, then you can start experimenting and you can start looking at pictures of the of the real bug, and uh, tweaking it out and putting some of those those features in there, which is as we go through the evolution of these flies, you'll see as it goes forward, more and more features will be getting added. So I got my size 10 curved caddis hook. Uh, it's a standard size. And we have our 764th bead on there in the black. So it's not a matte black. It is the, the gunmetal gray color. And I have my size 8 uni thread here. And we're going to start by tying on our base thread. Nice, even base wrap on this fly, please. Because we want the silhouettes to be very slender and pretty uniformed. So I'm going to get that tied right around to the bend of the hook. See you later with the tag end. We are going to take our thread and wrap it all the way back up to the bead. I am going to talk like this. A computer. For the rest of the fly. A computer or William Shatner? Either way. Either way. Might as well be a computer. Yeah. He's not a real person. He's a machine. Yeah. So we got our uh, size small copper uni wire here, or ultra thread, sorry. <laughs> no, I was right the first time. Ultra wire, a little combination of the two. And just nip that tag end right underneath the bead. Bloop, there you go. You got it secured, cool. and we are going to secure this going right along the spine of your hook. I can smell that chicken cooking, man. You know what? You guys and your cooking meats in the shore should be in the Pemberton Tourism Brochure. It should As be. a sight to see. Yeah. There is no other shop in the world, I bet you, where they're roasting chicken or veal or, oh, you guys don't do veal in here. Venison. You do venison. venison. Moose steaks. Moose steaks, steaks. yeah. Man, we do it all. Right These here. guys are always cooking something up. Yeah. So we got that going right along the spine. 
And once again, we're going to bring our thread. I'm just trying to think. I've got a, right I've got a picture of that damsel you pulled out of uh, Blackwater. Lake. Out of Blackwater. We're already starting to uh, find Let's out our food can... sources for the summer months. Yeah, you know what? Let me see if I can find that. It must be here some veil. All right, so the next material we're doing is the red holographic flashaboo, which they've labeled Tiger Fire. Arr, <laughs> tiger Fire. And uh, what you need is two strands of Tiger Fire. <laughs> now, who the heck knows what these names? <laughs> I don't know. It's just as kooky as some of the names that we make for our flies. So, oh no! I monster, guess I monster, guess you start yeah. running out of ideas, right? And you got to do something. So we're just looping that underneath the thread, and uh, making it so that our our stems are all the same length here. Ooh. And then we're once again we are going to tie this in right along the spine of the fly. <laughs> I think I got rid of that picture already. That didn't last very long on my computer. You didn't like it, eh? Well, I did, but I just, yeah, it didn't last very long. Wasn't serving its oh, purpose at is. the time. I think I found it. I All right, so it. while Brad's looking for that, and I think he's found it, we're just going to build up a bit of a thread base here. Um, so the back end, we're keeping very thin profiled, and then we're just putting a little bit of girth up towards the second half of the fly. And then, Brad, take it away with the damsel. Take it away. This is a damsel from Blackwater Lake. And the reason you kept this was? Well, because clients are always asking. They're always surprised that the fish are feeding in the wintertime when we're ice fishing. And so we're constantly pulling up weeds as we get caught with some of our swimming jigs. And lo and behold, after you've put it on the ice, all of a sudden, you see all these creepy crawlies, crawlies coming off. And we want to get a color. The majority Size of it, color. yeah, the majority of them are damsels. So one, it was kind of neat to show somebody, hey, this is, you know, there's still a lot of activity happening down there. Not everything's frozen solid. And then I wanted to get the color, so that when I do some patterns up this winter for next summer, I'm going to try and get that that profile and the color spot on. But they will change in color. Into the oh, yeah. summer. Yeah, yeah. But no, they'll change color. It'll, it'll be a good early season pattern for sure. <laughs> I know. I've, it's been a long ice fishing season yeah. already. It um, hasn't been as long as last year, but I'm already thinking about fly fishing. Well, last week. Well, I think it's because we went last week and. Uh, yeah, smoked them. And it smoked was, them on the little bit. So. I think. Yeah, I know. It's got me thinking. Trust me. <laughs> eight casts, you got five fish. That was unreal. Yeah. Anyhow, so I got my. My taper built into this fly here. And I'm going to grab all my holographic strands, get that wire out of the way, and we're going to do our thread base. You know or, what? We're going to open up question and answer too. If you've got any questions, hit us up for the million in attendance or at home watching. But typically, there's uh, any given night a million people watching. This is worldwide, of course. Worldwide and live. Oh, we got a viewer calling it. Holmes, you on your way over? Hi, bud. Oh, Scotty Holmes. Scotty Holmes will be coming to the building, will he? Yeah, just after five. So stick around. We got a. The show just keeps getting better. We should see if Brookenhead Benny's in the house tonight. That'd be nice to see him tie a fly. It's been a while. It has been a while. All right, so we got that flash boot tied up to just behind the the bead. Secure that tag. And get rid of them. Take our copper wire and do some nice even wraps up. And secure that in. Okay. So now I'm just going to 
back wrap a little bit here with my thread. All right. So I'm looking for my thread to be about a bead's width away from the bead. And I'm going to go to my peacock curl. So this stuff here, you can use the green by all means. Um, I like using red hues with the crotomids um, because that is what they give off is a red hue with most of the patterns. And uh, what I'm going to be doing here, it's going to take me a little bit. Not too long though, is I'm just going to use up some of these short broken ones that are in the buttstock. Save all my nice long ones for thread wraps or hook wraps and stuff. I'm just building a thorax here, so I'll use up some of these short little guys. So I got myself about five of them, five, six of them. Hair stacker would help right now. I think I've got one here. That's all right. In my back pocket. She's done. Done as dinner. You're all good? Yep. So I just got my tips somewhat together here. Just so people know that uh, we are showcasing the Pemberton Fish Finder, which is a local guiding company in Pemberton and Whistler, the official <laughs> guiding company for Whistler and Pemberton. If you guys want to get out and do a little fishing or fly fishing with Scott or myself, this is how you find us right here, showcased on Friday Night Flies. Oh yeah, you got that new feature. Yeah, nice. it's on there. So we're just gonna put that peacock curl right up on top there. I'm gonna tie it in. And uh, next is we need a strip of <coughs> That's ostrich. a good looking chronomid there. <laughs> He's going very fast. <laughs> He's making it's like the Superman. Superman chronomid. cape. <laughs> So once again, we're going to get that ostrich right in there and tie it right back to where the peacock curl is tied in. Nip off the tag in, move this thread forward a little bit. And we're going to put a bit of a gill plate in. You okay for a minute? Yep. Now, excuse the fingers, I left my hackle pliers at home. All right, so we got that wrapped in there so you can see what we've done. I'm going to tie this off. Get rid of, just get rid of that. All right, I'm going to wrap back one more time. I'm just going to pull that gill plate out to the side a little bit. And I got my peacock or my olive green laser dubbing. Is it laser I got? Ice dubbing, sorry. And I'm just going to put in my thorax behind the bead. So you can see what we've done there. And then last but not least, we're going to fold over this peacock curl. So see, we've made a little Shell back on it, wing casing. We'll get rid of those. And little whip finish to finish it off. Right behind that bead once. And twice. Get rid of our thread here. And then uh, I'm just going to pick out this dubbing just a little bit. We don't want this to be too, too bugged out. So if you do pick off too much, just take your scissors and, and trim it afterwards. Man, that thing's changed a whole lot since I was just back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Pull it down here with my fingers, and I definitely don't want it any longer than that than that uh, point hook point. And that's all you need to do. You just need to fuzz it up just a little bit, so you got a nice little extra feature from BFF, which is the shell back on there now. But that's beautiful. That is beautiful. With a little gill plate on it. Give us a couple turns there. 
sweetheart. Do, 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 do. So this one's going to play nicely into the natural way that they look. Um, they they get a real reddish pearlescent color to them. Especially in the spring. I mean, you got the blood worms and everything that are yeah. happening. That's a killer pattern. So that's season. a good one. A lot of people hear of glass worms and blood worms. Yeah. That is this bug, but in a more juvenile state. Yeah. It doesn't get the, the body and doesn't change its color until it's ready to emerge as an adult. So and maybe, now let's go up yeah. top. And uh, like we said earlier, we got a great show lined up for you guys today. We do. I'll be back with some more Karomis. Scotty Holmes is going to be in the building Scotty very soon. Scotty Holmes gave us a shout, said he was coming on by. And, you know, he's always good for some exciting tying. And, uh, yeah, so we'll be back in about five minutes. So join us again here on Friday Night Flies. Check us out at FridayNightFlies.com. Check out Pemberton Fish Finder for all your fishing reports and videos. Get yourself psyched up for the fishing season and the current fishing season. And, uh, yeah, and if you're ever in town, stop by Spud Valley Sporting Goods. If you don't got it, or if we don't got it, you don't need it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>